Hi guys, Darren from Ben Fluid Art. Thank you for joining us today on the Fluid Art Express. First up, we had Taslima Mayer Art, our special guest, Nathan Linzel from The Fine Art of Distraction, me, then we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. After Christy, we have Shannon from Shambi Fluid Art, then Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art, and last but not least, Hippie Dibby Painter Man. So that's Tony. All right, so what we're going to do today, guys, is I thought I'd show you a different way of doing a, um, a radial swipe where you'd usually have a big pool of black cell activator in the middle that you're left with and big bulby cells. If you don't want that, this is another way of doing one. So it looks like a, a radial swipe, but it's really not. So I've got an 8-inch MDF round. I'm going to put pillow paint down. Which is British Paint Slow Sheen. It's an interior wall paint here in Australia. So all I'm doing is spinning the round on the spinner, adding paint down as I go, a bit like a record player. Like that. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because it's going to spin out. Now, I'm going to grab some colours. Just throw them around randomly. Like so most of these colours are all um, either this little piggy or eye candy, black diamond. It's a mixed bunch. And they're all custom colours anyway, so I usually mess around with all the colours that I use. So we'll start throwing some of these down. So all you're doing is putting them down random. You're going to have thick pieces, you're going to have thin pieces. No biggie for what we're about to do with it. Just gives you a different effect when you've got thick bits and thin bits. Go with an orange. Blue. Like that. And we will go with that, I think. So, what I'm going to do is grab a palette knife. Da, 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 da. Where did I put it? There it is. Grab some black cell activator and stick it on the palette knife. Alright, so I'll pour a bit on like that, grab my little knife thing here, mixy stick, whatever you want to call them, put that on there, then I will drip off the excess, so any excess drips off back into the cup, okay, then what I'm going to do is just go swipe, 
swipe, swipe, get to there, and then just rotate. Like that. So on a normal radial swipe, you would have big bulgy boulder cells here and then they get smaller and smaller as they go out. Whereas this way it changes the design up for you. So we'll pop some bubbles, I might get a torch. That. All right. Put that one down. Go for the center of the spinner. Just go slow. Doesn't have to be super fast. Then if you want, you can grab one of these little scoops and any of the really cool cells that have come off, scoop it up. Drag them on in places. I mean, you don't have to. Thought I'd change it up a bit. Like that. All right, scrape off around here. So that way you've got big boulder cells here on the outside edges rather than all dumped in the middle in a circle. It's another cool way of doing a beach swipe too. You can do it the same way for a beach swipe. So, all right, I might quickly pr press pause and do another quickie for you. Okay, the trick to doing a radial is when you put the palette knife down, don't have it dead flat, you want it on a bit of an angle, so I'll angle it towards the camera, so it's up at about 10 or 15 degrees, so that way when you drag it through, You're skipping over the top of the paint all the way. Don't put any pressure on it, just use the weight of the palette knife. So we'll put some cell activator on this now. Spread that out on the knife. Now if your cell activator is thick, like three to one it'll take a while for your cells to pop up four to one it tends to pop up a little bit quicker so what we're going to do is put that down so it's just resting on it rotate the spinner like that and then you can lift up 
and the magic should start happening. Where you've got thick cell activator still in the middle, you can give it a blow. That allows the cells to pop up through the cell activator. Like that. Another trick is try and make sure it's dead center of your round when you do it. Because if it's off a bit, when you spin it out, it's going to creep off to one side. So what we'll do is give this a bit of a spin. Now before that gets all the way to the edge, we'll have a look. I want to move it off center a little bit because it wasn't dead center. Just be careful, your board can slide off the spinner. Alright, so we've evened that out a bit. There you go, move it back into the center again. Just give it a finished spin. And you should end up with something like that. So, what I recommend is using um, little four inch tiles. They're probably the easiest to do a radial swipe on. They turn out really good every time. The bigger you get, the harder it is because you've got to add a whole heap more pillow paint on and you've got to add a whole heap more paint on so just keep that in mind if you're going anything bigger than a coaster so we'll pop this one up and that's how we get a radial swipe so there's a few different ways you can do it have a bit of a play, try different ways of spinning it out, different ways of laying your colour down, um, different layering on your colours, makes a big difference to how it turns out too. Okay, just scrape all that off. Alright, but yeah, the main trick is that angle on your swipe tool instead of it being dead flat tip it at a bit of an angle in the direction it's rotating in so if this is rotating this way you want to tip it up that way if it's rotating the other way like that not that you can see it in the camera nice job one bit yeah so you want it on that angle about 10, 15 degrees, and then just move out slowly like a record player. All right, hopefully that was a bit of a help for you. If you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can. I'll move that up to there for you so you can see it. Um, up next, we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. So just click on the um, link that's in the chat that I'm doing. It'll take you directly to a YouTube channel and the actual video. If you click on her name in the title, it'll take you directly to her channel and then you'll have to find it. Or if you've been in my group, just click the playlist that I've put in there and it will play 
every video of everyone on the train today. That way you don't have to do anything. You just click on that one link and sit back and follow it. They should play one after another. All right, guys, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bring that notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. Okie dokie. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.